Okay. I just left TJ Maxx. Let me turn the receipt right. And like all the other uh, stores I went to, they tried to beat me out or they didn't have products that I wanted. TJ Maxx had no tea light candles. All the candles were high priced. They had no uh, toilet paper, no paper towels, no napkins. The only napkins they had were the ones that you sit on the table and they were four dollars. So again, um, uh, they playing the games. They tried to overcharge me, but like I tell you guys, they can't trick all of our eyes at the same time. So I want you to look at the receipt, do the math, and see what you come up with. But um, I talked to Felicia, and if you're watching this video, uh, they have your phone, have us blocked again, where I can't reach you. And the voice comes on and says, my mailbox is full, but it is not Felicia's voice. And I told her I would call back, call her right back as soon as I got to a place that was quiet. It's quiet here, but she's not answering the phone, and I can't leave her a voice message because this voice says her mailbox is full. That is not Felicia's uh, voicemail because I've talked to her voicemail several times and left messages for her. That is not her voice. It tells who she is, and it um, takes my messages. But this voicemail will come up and does not say who she is and uh, won't take uh, messages is the clear they have intercepted that telephone call. So uh, every time unaware, I'll get in touch with her again. But uh, this demon, demonized stores, I'm finna head back to um, back towards San Diego and take this other bus out. And of course, they tried to hide the metro station for me to uh, take the met metro. They didn't tell me it was a light rail. But like I said, that's here nor there. Because all of this is going to come out in the end. And like I said, even on this receipt, they can't trick everybody's eyes at the same time. All right, guys.